In this video, we're going to do a short intro to independent events. Two events are said to be independent if the outcome of the second event is not affected by the outcome of the first event. So take, for example, now a pack of cards. If I draw a card out, the probability of me getting a jack is going to be 1 over 13. If I put the card back in, i.e. I replace it, the probability of me getting another jack on the second one is not going to change. If I take it out and don't replace it, then the probability of me getting a jack on the second one will change. So, replacement is an independent event, yet if I take it out, it's going to be dependent. We could summarise that and say that the probability of A, the event A, doesn't change even if the event B has happened. We learnt before that the probability, and we'll write this here, the probability of A given B could be written in the form the probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. For independent events, the probability of A given B is simply going to be the probability of A because B is not influencing it if they're independent events. So, just making the substitution, what we can write is the following. We can write the probability of A is equal to the probability of A into section B divided by the probability of B. All I've done is made a substitution right here. Therefore, we can have our multiplication rule for independent events as the probability of A into section B is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. And that's the rule that we need to use. So for independent events, the multiplication rule is the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. In the video, we're just going to do a basic example and then move on with some harder stuff as we go. So we're told two events, A and B, are independent and the probability of A is 1 over 4 and the probability of B is 1 over 5. We need to find the probability of A intersection B. We know that if these are independent events, the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of it. Too much like an add. Um, should be a multiplication. Let's put that in. Multiplied by the probability of B. So all we need to do now is write the probability of A intersection B is going to be 1 over 4 multiplied now by 1 over 5. And that's going to give me 1 over 20. And we can put this on a Venn diagram. I always like a Venn diagram with me purely based on the fact that I want to visualise what I'm doing. From this information, we can just simply fill this out. So if we consider A, and we'll put these all into 20ths, what we've got here now, the probability of A we could write now as 5 over 20, and the probability of B we could write as 4 over 20. So if this is 5 over 20 now, the probability of A, then we can put that this is going to be 4 over 20, and we can put now that this is going to be 3 over 20. That's given me a total of 8 over 20, which means on the outside to complete the sample space, we need 12 over 20. And I thoroughly appreciate that you can simplify these. The reason I haven't is because it's easier to work if we've got a common denominator. So the probability of A intersection B is going to be 1 20th. The probability of A intersection not B is quite clearly this part right here, which is going to give us now the 4, let's write this up, is going to give us now the 4 over 20, which we can simplify to 1 over 5 or 0 0.2. So all we've considered now using the Venn diagram is it's in A but not B. So this is going to be 1 over 20. What we want now is the probability of a dashed intersection B dashed, well that's everything outside. So what we can do with this one is simply write that this is going to be 12 over 20, or if you want to simplify that, you can do. Uh, we can divide that by four, so we're gonna get three over five, or 0 0.6. 
So the probability of not A and not B is everything on the outside. So that's a nice straightforward example of using the multiplication rule for independent events.